Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is used permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So let's talk about it. For some odd reason, everybody's talking about Kim is shading her mom now. She went through the situation of shading Courtney, shading Chloe, trying to make it seem like she's about to hook her up with this guy, the model guy. That didn't work out. So then allegedly Kim and North did a prank on Chloe. So the biggest thing is the mom has to step up and get some of this media attention too. That's what it is. So I'm going to play a clip in regards to Kylie shading the whole family, making them seem like drunks. And that's the biggest thing. Is their legacy tarnish? Is it toxic? You know, is the mom approving and supporting unhealthy relationships? Let's listen. <coughs> Here are the women. drink the most and hold it the best. I mean, I can drink a lot. I'm going to get involved. Kendall and Kim show their drunkness really fast. Like, there's no hiding it. They have two shots. They're announcing it to everyone. Like, oh my god, I feel so drunk. Courtney, like, pees just everywhere. She gets drunk and she'll, like, pee on everybody and everywhere and in public and... Like, she's, like, naked somewhere. She's just, like, a free lady. No disrespect to the robot. Well, it's just so strong. Chloe's well, fun to get drunk with, but she can get aggressive. She said Watch Chloe out. can get and aggressive. No stopping her. Hey, get over it. If you don't say hi to your auntie, you better get out of here. Go. If you had a chance to drink with any of us, I'd pick Chris Jenner. Where am I sitting? So is she calling her whole family drunks? Hello. That's the biggest thing. Where's the role models? Where's the healthy relationships? You got Kim in the media talking about herself. Kim's dragging Kanye. Kim's dragging Courtney. Kim's dragging Chloe. Now Kim's allegedly doing the same thing. She's talking about her mom's drinking in regards to the time that she wants to have a cocktail. You know, they used to get on the mom about the drinking and the smoking. But the biggest thing is, aren't you also to protect your mom from the media, from the disrespect? Now, Kylie's saying she drinks a lot, but then if you want to party with anybody, you drink with the mom. We get it. Everybody have a little cocktail at dinner, but it seems as if they're trying to drink their woes away because of all the stress and drama. But well wishes. I wanted to do this clip because many people are calling Chris out. Whether what Ray J said was true or not, we don't know. But we know, allegedly, Kim don't do nothing without her mom knowing about it, styling her, figuring out what the contract says. So... Ray J never went to, and they were saying that Ray J um, couldn't find alleged lawyer. They said in regards to LA, you know, they have connections. So Black China, we surprised that Black China tried to do what she had to do in regards to the lawsuit. And many people felt that she should have won that lawsuit. But Black China did not. So many people are like, okay, Ray J should have tried to you know, hire the same lawyer that Black China had hired. And maybe that would have helped that, you know, there's two cases back to back. But we get that Ray J said what he said. He felt what he felt. And, you know, the girls are a trip in how they talk to their mom. But the biggest thing is, you know, is the mom, you know, painting these girls in a good light? Is she wanting them to be in a healthy relationship, safe relationship? different after my divorce my friends wanted me to meet someone does he meet the standards oh so meets the standards <laughs> life is really different after my divorce life is really life is really different 
Life is life is really different. Life is really different. Life is really different. Sorry about that. Yeah. So Kim is focused on her divorce. She's steady talking about Kanye and many people want her to get over it and move on. You know, Kim also talked about how um, Courtney knew she was going to have another baby and Courtney, um, Scott was going to have to basically get over it. But the biggest thing is, is the family showing healthy, safe relationship? The, the mom seems as if the girls have to put their relationships on the forefront. They have to talk about their relationships. They have to talk about who they're dating. And the many people are calling them out in regards to it's the same old, same old, same old regurgitated storyline, same old unhealthy relationships. The girls feel a way about being famous. People are, and I just know I'm not supposed to be famous. Like I can feel it deep down inside. Really? Yeah. That makes me so sad. I'm not supposed to be famous. For I'm not sure. either, for sure. Yeah. I am. I think I you, know are. you are. Because you can handle it. I can handle it. I just don't give it. I can't handle it, and I give it. Some people are born for this life, and some people are. And I this life, and some people are. So it's like, do Kim and Chris care? that the girls feel a way of not wanting to be famous, but Kim wants that bag. ...will say to me, can I have approval over what you say about me on your show? And I'll say, well, you just talked about me in this song, this song, this interview, this interview, and you didn't ask my permission. And I never say anything bad. I never say anything negative. If I say I'm exhausted, I feel guilty about that. I am exhausted. And by the way, I'm the one where shit could be going down and I get in the car and every day the kids want to blast dad's music and I'm like, he's the best, yeah. And I put it on and we're singing along and inside I'm like dying because yeah. I will be his biggest cheerleader to them forever. And one day when they, they see for understand. themselves, I'll answer whatever they want me to. But like, She's on her platform dragging him though. She's not protecting him. She's literally... Dra she don't understand when she talks, she's dragging people. She's shading people. She's putting people down. It's crazy to me how she don't think. And her way of speaking on stuff, she not dragging or talking about somebody. But well wishes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Let's just... ...just me of that publicly. So the person that's supposed to protect me the most publicly would accuse me of having an affair throughout our whole marriage. For once, can everyone just get their shit together? around me so I can lose it just once I just want to lose it once I want to have a bad day and I can't you know it's sometimes Kanye will say to me can I have a yeah so that's the video for today the mom needs to do better and protect these girls get them in healthy relationships maybe get them some counseling not a doctor not a counselor this is not to embarrass this is not to shame but you know has the legacy been tarnished are these girls struggling to have healthy relationships because they're only focusing on the bag having boyfriends that are drama filled scott and his concerns lamar and his concerns kanye from what he was to what he is now trying to find peace he's happy and married you know in regards to travis scott problematic why isn't the mom standing up for her daughters to be in healthy relationships why is the mom standing up and making sure her daughters have good brands and in healthy relationships they love the drama they love the conflict thank you girls basically Thank you for the unhealthy relationships because it's bringing us money. It's bringing us clicks and views. Mothers, teach your daughters different. It's sad that we're seeing an end of an era. It, it, the, Chloe was talking about they weren't almost supposed to have another season, but then they got picked up for another season. I did a video on that, and that's probably why we're seeing Kim fly everywhere so that they can have a lot of media attention. And I already said, it's kind of weird. Whoever's trending, that's who Kim wants to be by. And that's weird. It's like if, if a person is having their moment, how is it that over the last five, six, seven months, Kim wants to trend with people that's trending? She's been, she's been kind of taught that. But well wishes. Thanks for tuning in. Everyone have a great day.